Hi everyone and welcome to the Lapworth Museum of Geology. Today we're going to tell you a bit about the collections, we're going to tell you about how we use the museum in teaching and research and we're going to give you a tour of the museum. I'm Sam Giles, I'm a researcher here in the School of Geography, Earth and Environmental Sciences and I'm an academic keeper of the Lapworth Museum. Hi, I'm Tom Dunkley jones um, I'm the admissions tutor for Earth Science Programmes and Geology uh, here at the University of Birmingham and I'll be joining Sam and explaining some of the ways that we can use these great collections uh, in our teaching programmes. So the museum is over 100 years old and it reopened two years ago as part of a multi-million pound development. We now have state-of-the-art equipment, facilities and educational resources. We've got over a quarter of a million specimens and did you know we've even got our own dinosaur, Rory the Allosaurus. So I'm going to take you on a tour of the museum and show you some of the specimens and the collections and talk to you a bit about what our resources can tell you about the evolution of life and the evolution of the world. So some of the most important specimens in the collection are these here. These are fossils of jawless fish from around 400 million years ago. And these fossils are animals that lived in the sea but didn't have any teeth or jaws. And we can use collections in the museum to understand how these features evolved and understand how life became so successful today. As well as fossils like this, we also have really important collections from the local area. So these are fossils from an area called the Wen uh, uh, these are fossils from something called the Wenlock limestone. So around 400 million years ago, the local area here was a shallow sea. It was very warm, we had huge coral reefs. And we know there are around 700 different species of animals that lived in this area today. So these include things like corals, these include things like uh, brachiopods and bivalves and trilobites. And the museum collection here has thousands of specimens that we can use to look at the evolution of these animals. As well as having scientifically important specimens that are used by researchers around the world, we also use the collections here in teaching. So undergraduates, as undergraduates, you'll have the opportunity to use these specimens in your own work and to do original research that can be published in scientific journals. So we'll go further forwards in geological time. We'll come through the Carboniferous when the first forests evolved. And an undergraduate student here worked on some really important fossils showing uh, early tetrapod footprints. So these are some of the first animals to walk on land. And he used these footprints to understand different things about the evolution of life and to look at the, the way that these animals would have moved and the ways that they would have interacted with their environment. So the collections here are fantastically important both for teaching and research. You can use them in your studies, you can use them as an undergraduate all the way through and they're really, really fantastic resources. So as a, a geologist, we like to go out in the field and make uh, observations of the amazing rocks and fossils that we find out in the field. And we can do that to you know, a certain extent that we have some great field work programs that are spread throughout your degree program, including a new uh, field trip for paleontology students um, out to the US in your uh, third and fourth years. But also, you know, if you're doing study on a day-to-day -day basis, it's really great if you can have some of the world's best uh, examples of rocks, sediments, fossils, um, to study at your fingertips during your degree programme. And that's the real great advantage of, of being in a teaching environment uh, here right next to the Lapworth Museum. We have an immediate access to these great collections and, and some of the best material in the world, as I said before. So for example, walking through the degree programme, in year one, um, myself and a, a, a lecturer called Ivan Sampson, who's a specialist in early fish evolution, will be teaching you about the major fossil groups. So we'll be going through and introducing you to things like uh, ammonites, I'm sure many of you already know, uh, gastropods, echinoderms, and even things like fish and, and plants that are exhibited over on the left-hand side there. So these uh, material we use, we come down here and we'll look at these collections, but also we use the, the vast collections that are not being uh, exhibited, which are held in the, the Lapworths uh, reserve collections. And we actually use those and bring those out in class to bring these things to life uh, for you. Uh, within that course, we also talk about exceptional preservation, uh, the beautiful, exquisite preservation you sometimes get in certain fossil material. And in order to teach that, you need to actually be able to see material. It's one thing looking at it uh, in a photograph or looking on the internet. It's a whole other thing to actually have this in front of you and be able to touch some of these exquisitely preserved fossil material. Just coming over here, as we go through the degree programme, we unpack different aspects of geology and paleontology. And there's an option in the third and fourth years to study uh, the evolution of vertebrates. So many people's favorite uh, fossil groups, the dinosaurs, is a major component of this, this course. Uh, but also thinking about okay, how, how is the vertebrate uh, skeleton, how is the vertebrate bone plan actually put together? So looking at various skulls from hippos, gorillas, 
dinosaurs, birds, snakes, looking at their skeletons and looking at their construction. And actually the students use some of this Lapworth material uh, in their final student presentations where they have to illustrate particular components of that vertebrate um, form and function. So just coming over here as well, we also have a major geology collections. The Lapworth Museum is definitely not um, just about paleontology. Paleontology is a, a really great big component to it. Well actually, at, at heart, Charles Lapworth, who is the you know, this great uh, figure in, in the university's uh, kind of history, was really, he was a geologist. He was key in the defining of the Ordovician period. So we really have excellent collections of sediments, uh, sedimentary features and structures. As you can see down here, some of these lovely flume casts and ripples, um, a whole range of different sedimentary types. Um, we've put them together in this beautiful uh, rock hall, which illustrates the major uh, rock types. So we have sediments here, we have metamorphic rocks, rocks that have been put under pressure or temperature and they're changing their mineral composition. We also have this lovely selection of volcanic rocks as well to show you the, the range and types of magmas and volcanic material uh, that can be erupted associated with major uh, geological events. So this is a great um, explanatory uh, uh, feature of the museum but again this is all built on massive collections that are behind the scenes but which will be available for you uh, in undergraduate courses in teaching practicals to really get your hands on and understand some of these key components. But lastly I'm just going to take you up to the mineral gallery as well because again this is a real gem, pardon the pun, of the Lapworth Museum. <clears throat> so here we have some really outstanding uh, mineral collections, the type of thing that you might see in the Natural History Museum in London or one of the other great natural history museums of the world. <clears throat> and why these minerals are important is because minerals are the fundamental building blocks of all rocks and geological materials. So understanding minerals and their form and uh, diversity, what their chemical construction is, is a really important part of being trained as a geologist. <clears throat> so again, in our early years mineralogy, and petrology, we will use these collections, um, show you this, this form of these various different um, components of the Earth system and use that in our, our teaching. And again, there's big collections behind this that we can uh, bring out to you in practical classes as well. Just to really give you a sense of what that is behind the scenes, we're now going to take you on a brief trip to the behind the scenes uh, component of the museum to give you an example of some of the collections that we have back there. Follow me. So this is where we house the collections of the Lapworth Museum. We have over a quarter of a million specimens ranging from rocks to maps to minerals to fossils to living animals. And we can show you some of the treasures of the collection if you come through this way. So in here we have some skulls of different living mammals. We use these in teaching to, to tell you about the different bones and the different bits of anatomy. We have a beautiful range of uh, shells from living animals and we can use these to look at the evolution of life in the seas and to look at the different ways that things have evolved. And we have a really fantastic collection of different minerals here, ranging from agates, which you might be familiar with. These are uh, beautiful stones that are cut in half and polished through to different, lots of different mineral forms that we can tell you that we can use to teach you about the different mineral structures. Every one of these is, is filled with millions of different specimens. So we have a, a beautiful scallop shell here. This is a, an animal that is alive in the seas today. And uh, it uses its valves to, to swim through the different seas. And we have lots of other beautiful specimens too. For example, the sea urchin, where we can look at the living animals today. We can compare them to fossil, uh, fossil relatives to see how they've evolved through time. So we'll go back up to the main museum now and show you some more of the amazing things that we have in there. So one of the really exciting things that we can do with our collections here is that we can study them using new techniques. So rather than taking our specimens and grinding them up into lots of different pieces, which is how we used to study things, we can use amazing new techniques called CT scanning, where we use x-rays to virtually cut through the fossil or the other specimen of interest and look at the internal structure. So this here is a really fantastic example of a, of a spider relative from several hundred million years ago. This is the fossil itself up here. It's very small, it's very difficult to see structures, but we can use this, we can x-ray it, and we can make this amazing 3D print so that we can look at the anatomy in lots of details. We can have a very large specimen that you can pick up and manipulate, 
And we incorporate this into some of our teaching as well. So we have these 3D prints of different fossils and different other specimens that you can look at and handle without damaging the original fossil. So thanks very much for joining us at this Facebook a live event and live open day. It's been a real pleasure uh, to show you around the museum today and to show you some of our collections. Um, and we'd really love to welcome you to the museum and to the university in person as well. We have a range of open days through the year. Please do think about signing up uh, and come and visit us and come and talk to us about potential programmes. So please leave your comments, get in touch and come and visit. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.